Hey everyone, Jonathan Silva here, back for a second part working with Microsoft Form attachments into a SharePoint list using Power Automate. For this one, what we're gonna focus on is having multiple attachments inside of our Microsoft Form to be able to add to that SharePoint list. It's a little bit different than having just a single attachment. So let's take a look at the differences that we have and build out that workflow. Before we begin, if you want to learn more, visit prag.works slash Jonathan40 to get 40% off an annual on-demand learning subscription and have access to over 100 different classes. Now onto the video. All right, so here we have our original workflow to store a single form attachment into a SharePoint list. The way it works is we have our form, we have our users submit this form with one attachment only, and then we can add that saved inside of our SharePoint list. I have a video on that already. Go take a look at that one if you wanna see how that single one is built out. You'll be able to select the item, and then once you select the item, you could see the single attachment. Works great, really, really easy to do, really convenient to have, and it's you can see it's not that many steps. What we want to do, however, is we want to be able to now say, all right, well, what if in our form, we don't just limit the user to one single attachment, we allow them to have multiple attachments. Like you can see here on my attachment question, I'm allowing them to have up to 10 different attachments. So now with that being the case, as I preview this and go ahead and try to submit in a second, what I need to do is have my flow do something a little bit different. So I've just created a second copy of my flow here to work with. So I have multiple form attachments into that SharePoint list. And what I want to do is build off of the single one that we have, where we start off by having our form response, our form meeting, our form ID here. We're going to get the response details as we always do when working with, with Microsoft Forms and Power Automate. We're then going to create an item in SharePoint. This is our create item action with the three columns I have that are matching three of the questions from my form. And then as you see here for the single form attachment, we are looping over the attachments array converted to JSON, getting the file content based on the ID, okay? Then adding that attachment with the file content with the ID, the name from that loop. We already have that in our video. Go take a look at that video if you wanna see all the individual steps. What we are gonna do, however, this time is a little bit different. We need to be able to find a way to identify, are there multiple attachments? And if there are, add all attachments one at a time to our SharePoint item. So in order to do that, what we need to do is start off by creating a variable. So we're going to after our get response details actions, initialize a variable. So I'm gonna click add an action and we'll do our variable. And we are gonna do initialize variable. And for this one, I'll just simply call this our var attachments. Okay, this is actually going to be an array data type. So we can call this our attachments array if we want, just to make it a little bit easier to understand or just leave it as such. It's up to you, whatever you call this. We're gonna leave our value blank because we are going to append all of the attachments that we get from our form to this array once we realize if there are attachments there or not. Now, after we go ahead and create our variable, what we now need to check is, is this array or uh, blank or not, do we actually have attachments coming from that form? Because if we try to create this array without any attachments, it's gonna come back blank and it's actually gonna fail on us. So we need to have a conditional step here to see, do we have those multiple attachments? And if we do, go ahead and append them all together. So I'm gonna come here after we initialize our variable, which actually I'll just come in here and call this our var attachments array. I always like to rename my specific actions here. Add an action right after this. And what we are going to do is add in a condition control. For this condition control, what we are going to do is evaluate 
the array of attachments that we get coming from our Microsoft form. Again, when you work with forms here and you have this attachment question, it stores each attachment as, as, an, as a list, an array, so that we can iterate over and then store that within the object itself or store that within the item or where we're putting to. So we need to be able to work with that information here. However, it's not workable in its current format. So what we need to do is convert that question and all the responses in it to JSON. So here for our condition, we are going to test, if I come to my expression here, we're gonna to convert to JSON using the JSON expression. We are going to then go to our dynamic content and add in our attachment question, whatever question it, that you have here that's referencing the attachments that you want to point to. So I'm going to convert that to JSON and then hit add. And then we are going to test, because I like to keep this in the affirmative here, if that array with all of our attachments is not equal to null, which means it has something in it. Okay, so if the array of attachments is not equal to null. If it's true that this array has something in it, in this case it's not equal to null, then what we are going to do is we are going to loop over each of those attachments on that array and append them all together so that we can work with them as one single object. So in our true branch now, we're going to add an action. And this is going to be an apply to each control or for each loop. And what we are going to do is very similar to what we just tested in our condition. We are going to have our converted uh, attachments into JSON. So we'll do it once more here. So loop over this JSON array that we are, are pointing together here with our attachment, the exact same thing we have in our condition that we are evaluating. We're going to loop over this array that's set up as JSON. And then inside of this apply to each or this array that we're now working over, we are going to append each attachment. So we're going to append to array. So we're gonna use the append to array variable, which we've already declared in our initialize variable. So in my drop down here, append to array variable, our var attachments array, what are we appending together? Well, each individual item on this array that we're iterating over, each record, each attachment. So if you come to our value here, we're gonna to go to our formula, our expression, and we're gonna use item, open, close parentheses. You can see here, when used inside of a for each loop, this function returns the current item in the specified loop. So that current item, if we have three, It'll be one, two, three, append them all together as one single array. Now this is gonna be our good testing condition here to allow us to say, okay, if we have multiples, put them together in a JSON array that's workable through Power Automate and acceptable in SharePoint. And then we can go ahead, create our item and apply to each of those attachments to that item we created. Now there's one thing that I need to change from my previous flow that I had for a single attachment, and that's right here in my apply to each. For this apply to each, what we originally did was that exact JSON array for our attachment question. It's the same thing we've been, we just used twice. We're not gonna use that anymore because that's not the array that we need that's workable for SharePoint. So we're gonna replace that in this apply to each down here for adding attachments and we are gonna pass in our variable because now this is going to loop over each item on that variable array and then add them from here. This is gonna be the best way for us to do that. It's gonna ensure that everything is done in the proper format. So we can go ahead and select save here and then test this to see exactly how it works. All right, so there everything is saved. I'm gonna go ahead and test. And I'm going to now submit another response. So I'll do Jonathan test for multiple attachments.
go ahead and upload some files here. We have three that I'm uploading. I'll go ahead and select submit and let's take a look. There's our response has been submitted. Let's take a look at our workflow. And you can see in our apply to each, we have our loop going one of three attachments in this case. So that means if we go over to our SharePoint list and we refresh real quick, can we see there we have our second submission, my test for multiple attachments. I can see, yes, there are attachments. If I select on the record itself, there we have our different attachments, one, two, and three, the three files I have, the doc, the Excel file, and the PowerPoint. If I just were to select one of them, because we're doing get file content, you can actually see the exact file. That makes it perfect for exactly what we wanna do here within our workflow. So as you can see, working with Power Automate, we have the ability to manipulate data specifically in this case from Microsoft Forms to be able to add that correctly inside of a SharePoint list. Keep in mind that there, there may be other ways for you to do this. There may be better ways, maybe using a Canvas app instead and having the attachments um, done that way. There's a lot of different ways of working with the data, but this is something that we see quite often as a use case for us. So it's definitely helpful to know that you can have single or multiple attachments from a form added directly to that item in a SharePoint list. Stay tuned for more videos coming out in the future as we continue to work here with Power Automate. See you next time.